Okay, so it's a couple days uh, after Christmas and we just had a big storm last night, a lot of wind damage and uh, Sophie and I were just traveling, walking around, um, taking a peek, just kind of surveying to see what kind of kind of damage we had. Uh, wasn't too bad overall, a couple, couple, couple trees blown down, a lot of limbs blown down. But, um, one thing I did uh, want to share with you guys today is while we walk through the woods a lot, um, it's good exercise for one, but it gives you a chance just to get out in nature and uh, those who have spent any time with me on some of the camping trips and stuff I know, I'm a really big fan of uh, making uh, herbal teas. I'm a huge fan of drinking goldenrod and uh, ironweed, uh, mixing them together. Um, also, uh, one that my nephew is really fond of and uh, he's kind of turned me on to is uh, pine needle tea. So while we were walking, I picked off some, uh, just a couple handfuls of pine needles uh, as we were coming through and I figured I'd make some uh, pine needle tea. Uh, there are more, there's more vitamin C in these pine needles than there is in an entire orange. Um, about three or four times as much from what I understand. And uh, they're just loaded full of antioxidants. Uh, there's some studies say they, they fight cancer, uh, you know, holistically, naturally. Um, but they're uh, good for cold and flu season, which we're coming right on to. Uh, they're good for opening up your uh, nasal passages. They help boost your immune system. Uh, they're good for getting rid of uh, phlegm and mucus uh, in your lungs, and uh, it's just uh, just, a, just a you know kind of a not really a cure all, but it's a great wintertime uh, remedy to either stave off a cold or to maybe help bite one. So uh, let's build a fire and we'll get some water bowling and we'll steep some uh, steep some pine needles and uh, see how it is. Okay, I made a little ring out of rocks there to kind of contain the fire. We don't want to get out of hand. It's a little bit windy today, but not too bad. So. And uh, back to my homemade fire starters. Uh, I'll show you guys how easy these are. Uh, I just lay one, lay one down inside there. A little waterproof uh, matchbox. And inside of this, I keep a piece of the striker box. So it makes it easier to light the match. Sometimes you need to tear these open a little bit to get to the get to the cotton ball on the inside. Okay, sometimes we just gotta go back to the basics. And uh, anybody that knows me, you guys know I pretty much always have one of these fire starters on me. I get these at Harbor Freight, by the way. They're really expensive and they work great. Just scrape the magnesium onto the cotton ball. Twigs, just get her started.
want to cut these brown ends off of these uh, needles. You don't want that part of it. Just looking for the green parts. And cut them into little, oh, about one inch pieces roughly. Doesn't have to be exact. basically making a cut so the vitamin C can get out. And we'll set these aside and wait for our water to boil and then uh, we'll let them steep for a while. Okay, now that this is nice and hot, I'm just going to add in our, our pine needles. And we'll let that, let that steep for a while, so it's probably time to take another nap. Well, it doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good. It's kind of a minty sweet taste. Uh, I think you might like it. I like it. Uh, my nephew seems to like it. So, uh, well, I say it's good for you. Lots of vitamin C, antioxidants, and uh, hopefully help you stave off the uh, cold season this winter.
Hey guys, thanks for coming along with Sophie and I again, and uh, appreciate you uh, being a part of us our day there as we walk around and travel and explore the woods. And I hope everybody stays safe, uh, has a great new year, and please, if you like the videos, uh, thumbs up on them, and please uh, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. So uh, thanks a lot. You guys have a great day.